In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to run Gaussian jobs from the Gauss View interface, including a basic single point energy, a geometry optimization, an optimization plus frequency job, a population analysis, as well as a calculation in solution. We will begin each calculation using an already built molecule of interest. We begin by running a single point energy calculation starting with a 1,2-difluoro-1,2-dichloroethane molecule. We navigate to the Calculate menu and select the first option, Gaussian Calculation Setup. Once the dialog opens, we see that the default job type, Energy, is already selected. Clicking on the drop-down menu displays a list of job types, including a blank option for you to specify any available job type. Make sure that energy remains selected. Next, we specify the model chemistry. We want to change the method from the default of Hartree-Fock to B3-LIP. We select DFT and then specify the functional in the new pop-up which appears to the far right. We also want to use a larger basis set, so we change it to 6311G. We also add 2D polarization functions on heavy atoms, as well as polarization functions on hydrogen atoms. Then we add a diffuse function. We leave all the other settings at their defaults. Finally, we go to the Title tab and give the job a descriptive title. We are now ready to start the job. When we click Submit, Gauss View prompts us to save our file. We choose our folder location, give it a name, and submit the job to Gaussian. While the job is running, we open the Job Manager, where we can stream the output file as it progresses, kill the job, and see a log of all the jobs that we have run. Once the job is complete, we are prompted to open the job results file. We select the checkpoint file and can now review the results. The checkpoint file is almost always the best results file to use. We will now run a geometry optimization. We open the Gaussian Calculation Setup dialog and change the job type to Optimization. In the Method tab, we change the defaults to the same method and basis set we used in the previous Single Point Energy Calculation. We give the job a title and then submit it to Gaussian. After the job completes, we open the Checkpoint file. To read in all of the optimization steps, click on the File Open Options tab and ensure that the Read Intermediate Geometries Optimizations checkbox is selected. Gauss View presents the results in a single molecule group, where each molecule is an optimization step as the structure moves toward the minimum. In the next example, we run an optimization plus frequency job. To do so, we change the job type to opt plus freak. Additional options are now available, corresponding to the vibrational frequency analysis. We select Calculate at First Point from the Force Constants dropdown. We also click the Compute VCD checkbox to predict the vibrational circular dichroism spectrum. Finally, we go to the General tab and click the Additional Print checkbox. We are now ready to submit the job to Gaussian. In this example, we are going to request a population analysis. We also demonstrate how to change the Gaussian calculation setup defaults to make setting up jobs easier. In the previous job, you may have noticed that we did not specify the method and basis set for our calculation. This is because we changed our defaults to be our desired model chemistry. To do this, Select the File Preferences menu option. Select the Gaussian Setup option from the list of preferences and then click the Calculation button. The Gaussian Calculation Setup dialog now appears. You can use it to change any of the default values to what you prefer. Use the Retain button to save your changes. Now, when we open the Gaussian Calculation Setup dialog, our values are used instead of the previous defaults. To include an NBO population analysis in this job, 
we go to the Pop tab and change the Level of Output field to Full and change the Perform NBO Calc from No NBO to Full NBO. Once this has been done, we submit the job to Gaussian. Our final example demonstrates setting up a calculation in solution. Setting up and running a calculation in solution is quite simple. After opening up the Gaussian Calculation Setup dialog, we navigate to the Solvation tab, where we select the default solvation model. This selects the Gaussian default SCRF model, which is IEF-PCM. The solvent field appears, which includes a group of commonly used solvents. There is also the option for Other, for selecting solvents not present in this list. The complete list of available solvents is listed in the documentation for the SCRF keyword. For our example, we will be using acetonitrile. We are now ready to submit the job to Gaussian. Our next video will demonstrate examining Gaussian calculation results with GaussView.